hat sich zum ersten Mal für die WM qualifizieren können. Und gestern Abend sagt er noch zu mir, ich komme so gerne in diesen wunderbaren Osten unseres Landes. Im letzten Jahr in Riesa das Viertelfinale gespielt. Und das möchte er an diesem Osterwochenende wiederholen. Ein herzliches Willkommen, Dragutin Horvath! Jahre ist der heutige Gegner von Dragutin Horvath alt. Er kommt aus England, spielt seit 2011 bei der PDC, hat bei der BDO mal im WM-Halbfinale gestanden 2008. Ist die aktuelle Nummer 107 der Welt. Die Rede ist von Pekka Brian Woods. So the German Darts Mastered and the first of the host nation hopes Dragutin Horvath. Taking on Brian Woods. I'm Chris Murphy, and joining me in the commentary box for this one, Rob Malarkey. Yeah, he's back, isn't he? A man who made a, a big impression on the European tour towards the end of last year, making the quarterfinals in Riesa in the International Darts Open. Did a lose in the first round in Sindelfingen to Joe Mernon as well, but uh, Horvatz hoping to make the most of his first appearance of 2017. Came through qualifying last night fairly comfortably as well, just the one scare along the way against Ronnie Burns in the second round. Won that one 6-5, but uh, apart from that, had fairly convincing wins over René Idems, Simeon Heinz, and also Bernd Reuth as well. But up against him, Brian Woods, a man who's not been seen in Europe on the tour since well, March of 2015, when he reached the last 16 in Gibraltar. Difficult one to weigh up this. For that, if he can produce the form that he showed in Risa may well fancy his chances but Woods can be a dangerous proposition well, Brian Woods having not qualified for any European Tour event for two years and ladies and gentlemen first leg Dragoon in the throw first game on has qualified for two in two weeks because mm, he will be back next week in Saarbrücken but uh, yeah qualification will have come as a, a welcome relief for him he's had a string of first round defeats on the Pro Tour so the fact that he's been able to just knit something together here in Europe, both qualifying here and for Saarbrücken, may well suggest wow, he's uh, well, thinking about turning a corner, shall we say. Well, when he did get on the stage in Gibraltar a couple of years ago, he beat Emmanuel Villero in the first round and then wow, saw Steve man, Beaton in the second before losing at 6-3 to Michael Van Gerwen. No disgrace in that. So maybe Woods, one of these sort of stage players. Absolutely. Woods himself came through three rounds of qualifying. Jim Brown, Ryan Palmer and Tony Newell. The Newell match went the distance. And it was Woods who came out in the decider on top. Of course, we know what he can do on this stage. Reached the semi-finals at the Lakeside in 2008. 81. Trying to require 140. So Woods down to a finish first on the Horvath throw. But just having a word with himself there as he strays into the one. 78. But Horvath on 182. So Woods will return with a more manageable 62 finish for a break. 83. Trying to require 62. So, Brian Woods for the first leg. 47 away. Double 16, then for the opener. 30. Just open the door. Dragoon's in require, 99. Mm. Frustrated. Can still do it, treble 20. Not anymore. 43. Brian, you require 32. Stepping over to the right-hand side ever so slightly, still just outside the wire, Good and score. so too is that one. Dragoons in your require, 56. And Brian Woods, almost a look of disbelief on his face there, tops them to Horvath, the and that will have Did to go down Marla? as a Second steal, albeit it's first. a hold of throw, but it's a big steal as well, because Woods wandered, matched, uh, sorry, wandered uh, darts to win the leg there. We said how well Brian Woods did in his last European Tour event when Horvat reached 
the international darts up, and you mentioned earlier, Rob, all the way to the quarterfinals, beating Ricky 16. Evans, Gerwin Price, and Ian White en route. Yeah, the Gerwin Price one was a, was a really good performance. He was 2-0 down in that one, but he came back to lead 4-2 and 5-3, but Price then hit back again to level the match and force a decider, and everybody thought, well, here we go, Price has got this 55. wrapped up, and he missed a match dart as well, did Gerwin Price, before Horvat took out double 16. He was very good on his doubles in that match against Gerwin Price. Six from ten that day. And then he beat Ian White. And there's another illustration of exactly what he can do. Beat Ian White 6-4. That was perhaps the best performance of the week from him. He uh, averaged almost 100. White actually outscored him, out-averaged him as well that day. First match of the match gets him into a decent position to break and double his lead. 60. Although unable to follow it with at least another visit with a treble, but loose dart from Woods and another. 76. And Horvat has effectively stolen the darts here. Needs to make the most of this. Hmm, well. Okay, he's down to a finish first, but could have been a bit better. And once again, Woods is off beam here. 84. For Gooten, you require 141. Well, it's on. Level 19. It's taking a moment to work out the best route. 89. Brian, you require 118. Well, this may have to go. Yeah, so tops. 78. Dragoons in the require 52. Incredulous. Horvat, 52. Tops. Two goes at it. Game Only shot. needs one. Dragoons so Horvat has a two leg lead. Perfect. Woods has missed starts a double first. in each of those legs. A good start. For the German player, the first European Tour event of the year. All the Game German on. players suffered first round exits. So the crowd here will be hoping Horvat can put that right. One man on 40. Yeah, Max Hopp is the uh, main hope once again, having qualified by the skin of his teeth last night. Four, six, five wins for him. He's on site and ready for his uh, opening match against Robert Owen later. We did see Horvat on the biggest stage of all at Ali Pali in December. He came through the German One qualifier. Hundred. It was a strange passage. He beat Stefan Stoika 10-6 in the final, but he'd lost to Stoika in the group stage, but he still qualified for the semis and then recovered from there on. And then he had to survive a sudden death leg in the prelim against Boris Koltsov of Russia. And then his reward was a meeting with Simon Whitlock, and that was the end of the road. 83. But still, it was a nice payday for him. Yeah, Whitlock took him apart in that one, only to be taken apart by Darren Webster himself. 26. 26 for Woodson. There you see the reaction on his face. Just not going for him at the moment. And Hall, that's in a very good position, even though he's not found a trouble so far 58. here. Yeah, he's down to 120 for a Shanghai finish, so within touching distance of a 3 0 lead hit. Almost has a bit of a feel of the first match. 34. Yeah. You require 120. That's uh, first leg that Pipe lost. And from that moment on, he never really recovered. It, it just knocked a lot of stuffing out of him, and he never really got going after that. It was, it was on his mind, I think, for two or three legs following that opener. And this, as you say, following a very similar pattern so far. 75. So we saw Justin Pipe make a mess of a finish in the first leg 60. of the day. We saw Ronnie Hybrick make a mess at the end of a 11-leg thriller against Johnny Clayton. Game show in the third leg. Now Horvath, three first. legs clear. Game on. The crowd show their appreciation. And Woods in the wilderness right now. Well, 
he's certainly got the backing of the crowd as well, Horvat. There we see three from three on his 21. Check out so far. Yeah, Wood's really not got going. He's averaging mid 70s. 96. Yeah, Max Hopp, Robert Marianovic and Stefan Sietman, the other host nation qualifiers. Sietman making his European Tour debut later. Congratulations to him. But fair to say that uh, most realistic hopes lying on the shoulders of Max Hopp once again, just 20 years of age. And this time it's Horvath's turn to stray 21. off target. Well, right now, Horvath's got every hoof, hasn't he, Rob? 3-0 lead, Woods not looking threatening at all in this match so far. Chance here though for Woods to... One arm right uh, certainly in pole position now to take the first leg or the opening leg. Put one on the scoreboard. 85. Horvat just has Brian to maintain. There is 84. a danger with Horvat, indeed with most players, that they can just get complacent and not maintain a, a promising early start double 12 for woods 72 well, he'll have other opportunities with horvat on 239 winner of this to face michael smith by the way in the second round tomorrow 97 michael smith Ryan, you 12. good performance in europe first round exit at the hands of jan decker or sorry i should say opening match exit losing in the Second round against Decker. Game as shown Woods the full flag. Ryan Woods. Gets one on Fifth the ball. Flag to go in the throw first. Game on. Yeah, just a reminder of how it works. 48 players in contention. 32 play on the first day. And then the big 16 or the 16 highest ranked players from the Pro Tour Order of Merit come in. On what is usually Saturday, but will be Sunday this week. But, uh, 55. Reticent to say the big names because the likes of Adrian Lewis and Raymond Van Barneveld are playing today, Rob. Yep. It's a terrific first day lineup. 41. Just uh, taking a moment there just to double check because it was very close to the wire. Well, Woods is by no means out of this. He just uh, finds himself one break down, but he could do 49. with avoiding this habit he's had so far today by and large of straying away from the big numbers. All that seizing on that right up, slip up by Brian Woods by rattling a ton 40 and taking control of this fifth leg. All 43. Averaging only 80, but it's more than enough at the moment. Another way below par visit from Woods. It's part of a very decent afternoon session of darts, this. We've still got Robbie Green and Mark Webster closing the afternoon session. Before that, Ted Evitz and Joe Mernon. That's the next match. And then Jamie Lewis against Doran Lurchbacker. Before Hoff against Owen, Green which you mentioned. 150. Really strong lineup for a first 16. round at European Tour. Of course, the standout tie this evening, Daryl Gurney against Adrian Lewis. Needed a treble there, Horvat. Woods might just put some pressure on, but once again, he can't find a treble, 30. and he's straying over into the five bed again. 90. And six starts from here for Horvat for a 4-1 lead. Now, double 15. Well, he may choose to split this. Well, he's got plenty of room for manoeuvre. He's now probably regretting going <laughs> that route. <laughs> because he's... Well... OK. Double 12. And he's found it. In the fifth <laughs> well, he's not regretting it now, Rob. <laughs> by hook or by crook. Six leg, Brian, a throw first. Game on. Yeah, taking uh, just a moment or three to think about his uh, route to glory. And he well, he kind of raced up out. to the hockey, didn't he? Threw it in the treble 20 and then looked at Brian Wood's score after throwing that dart. As, but if then it, as if it came as a big surprise that he was on 199. But to be fair, he corrected it. He decided, well, I'm not going to bother going for the double 15. 45. Split it and to fantastic effect. 
Brian Woods just watching his demeanour throughout oh. this match. He's had many loose starts and he's kind of 48. met them with a look of disbelief. Yeah, but he keeps on doing it and the average is below 74 now. And 45. To some extent, okay, Horvat is averaging greater numbers, but he's got away with this one to an extent so far today but then again Brian Woods one is nine. capable of producing moments like that where did that come from where did it come from indeed and where did this come from as well one nine and 40. Well, one apiece in the match in the match now on the maximum count but look at that Eight double percentage nine. from Dragatin Horvat Four attempts, four hits. Brian Woods can only dream of one such one numbers at the moment. 21. Brian, you require one He uh, did all the damage, or the most of the damage in that first leg. So it's not over yet. It certainly isn't. Choices here, he's deciding now. Does he go 14 ball, or will he look at... Well, he's going to double two now. Well, that's unorthodox, shall we say? Dragoon, you require well, 150. He didn't think Horvat would take this out. He was right about that. Trouble 16, double 18 might have been a, another course of action as well. We've seen that, but yeah, to go two trouble 20s, yeah. double two. Anyway, 16. usually it would be that segment because Brian, trouble lately pops as well. Yeah. Right then, not much margin for error. Doesn't want to go inside. That's slightly awkward, Game but the yeah, sixth leg. found his Ryan way Woods. through. Seventh leg to go in the throw first. Game on. And what Woods needs to do here needs to just remember that he is only one break of throw down. One hundred. That said, Paul that throwing first. Effectively, Woods needs to find two breaks, but if he can just claw his way back in and keep the deficit 45. down, and maybe just maybe it will give him something to cling to here. I mean, Horvath's not playing brilliantly. Let's not One lose sight of that as well. But it's more than enough at the moment. Well, he's had his moments, and his finishing has got him into this 70. position. Deadly on the doubles. And he's in control in this leg as well, you feel, on his throat. One on and this is a big leg because there's a massive, massive difference between a 4-3 and 5-2. Now then, here comes Woods. One and eighteen. Second maximum of the match for Woods, but it's not enough at the moment. Needs more consistency. Sixteen. Well, he's still in control, Horvat, but not, not as much as he was. Yeah. Woods all of a sudden seems to have a bit of a spring in his step here. If you can find. Maybe a ton 40 here, or you'd run over to the 18s Good just to uh, tidy that up, but... Yeah, he's back in the frame here, especially now as well. 40. Brian, you require one. Well, only one eight. treble needed in the combination, so... Mess there, it's a good guide. May switch to 16s. Stays there, but doesn't find the target. Now Horvat hasn't missed the dart at double, and should get... At least one. Mm. 61. To go in the require 80. Well. Oh. Well, that is pretty unforgivable at this sort of stage. He's 4 2 up. Well, Woods is sitting there on 47. He's going to keep his perfect record, Rob. But uh, <laughs> I think he'd rather had a dart there. 47 for Woods guilt-edged opportunity here for the break back that he was desperately craving still is desperately craving double 16 has to go and Game it does on the seventh leg. and Brian all of a sudden it's a very leg, very Brian different proposition first. here for Dragutin Horvat and we mentioned how big that leg could prove to be Oh, that could have been one away, but if Woods can hold 85. here, it becomes a race to two. Sixty. Fifty. 
35. One hundred. Nathan Tuckwood just hoping to produce something to pull away. 125. And that helps that. Forty one. And he now has control of this leg. Sixty. Not down to a finish though, so two trebles would get Horvat there first, but again a dart goes into the one. Well, it won't go down as one of the greatest matches on the European Tour, but it's uh, certainly a really good opportunity for either of these players to make the second round of this German Darts Masters here in Jena. Brilliant crowd today, by the way. Not too many spare seats to be had, and it starts like that, that's bringing them here in the first place. Just some pressure here on Brian Woods. 78 away. Usually treble 18. Yep, to leave. Double 12. 86. But that's about an inch inside the wire, and he's a pretty angry man here, Brian Woods, at the moment, and he'll be even angrier if Horvat takes this out. He's had to watch Woods' antics in front of him. Now, made the cardinal sin last time out, hit the one. This time, he does get a dart. This time, he misses for the first time. Brian, you require 12. For Pekka, for Parity. double three nice and the score. crowd playing their part there just maybe the getting to Brian Woods a little bit faulty. as the crowd chants Horvath's name once again that's a long way above the wire that's a little bit closer needs to be closer still nice and he's not Brian you require three well this could be a 23 dart hold of throw for Brian Woods but he won't care about that double one Well then, champ to Horvat. He had four consecutive hits on doubles, followed by Dragoon, four consecutive misses. Who will blink first here? That's the question. And that's a pretty similar position to his first dart last time. Game and this time, Horvat finds Dragoon double 20. It's a 24 dart break of throw. It's Dragoon a 5-3 lead on. for the German. The host nation qualifier is almost there, and Woods is really up against it now. Well, he let out that roar, didn't he? 16. And then when he made a mistake in the following leg, he let out a roar of anger, and maybe that just went against him a little bit with the crowd, because he hadn't really been too vocal before that point. It was all going very easily for their man, wasn't it? And it's getting easier now. Oh, 177. Woods needs something here. Just needs to stay in the frame in this ninth leg. 264 apiece remaining. A 177, 100. followed by a turn down to a finish first. Woods needs to at least match his opponent's score. Has to move across to try and do that. 60. Couldn't Dragoon find a route. 164. 60. Hmm. Well, I'm tempted to say this is still in the balance, and uh, even more so now. Once again, Woods guilty of just straying over. That's a good recovery. That's a terrific recovery by Woods. Doesn't get a dart. 
for Wood to break back. 56. Brian Brian ball to miss now, 84, 84 in front of Brian Wood. It's one dart at double 11. Oh, no. Has he heard him? I was going to say, I thought he'd not heard him. Wood said double 12 and then Russ Bray said no, no. And I just feared that Woods hadn't heard him. Double 11, and he's off target anyway. To greeting you require 48. So, for the match, double 10. 28. The agony goes on. So having gone inside, Brian double 11. 11. Only two darts. Oh, he was close to busting there. Double two. Had trouble earlier. Nine scores. Just not convincing on the doubles at all. You just know as soon as he steps up, he's not 20. filling you with a great deal of confidence. He just looks edgy every time he approaches. Double Change 10 shot. for Horvath. And, match. and the host nation qualifier is through. Room for improvement, you have to say, for the second round meeting with Michael Smith tomorrow. But... Dragutin Horvat won't care about that. He has got over the line in what was a far from high quality encounter against Brian Woods. 6 3 the score, but it's another win on the European Final tour for Dragutin Horvat. He'll be uh, talking us through it in just a moment with Almar Polka. And on the way next for you, fifth match of the day, Ted Evix, the 19 year old youngest player on the PDC circuit, up against Joe Mernon. That's on the way in about four or five minutes' time. Dragutin, gratuliere. Tolle Stimme, oder? Mega, mega. Einfach nur geil. Im Osten ist es am schönsten. Du hast ca. 2000 neue Freunde. Das war geführt, dann trotzdem noch eng, weil plötzlich Doppelprobleme aufkamen. Ja, ich war sehr nervös. Bei 3-0 Führung fange ich an, nervös zu werden. Ich weiß nicht warum. Bis dahin war alles klar, aber bei 3-0 plötzlich fange ich an zu zittern. Ich weiß nicht, aufgeregt. Ja. Gute Nachricht im Vergleich zu Hildesheim, da hat es kein Deutscher in die zweite Runde geschafft. Jetzt haben wir schon mal einen Deutschen hier in Runde 2. Michael Smith wartet. Der ist zurzeit nicht so in Topform. Ja, mein Gott, äh, ob der in Topform ist oder nicht. Jeder weiß, was er kann. Und das kann er jederzeit abrufen. Ich kann da nun genießen, das Spiel, mitspielen, mal gucken, was rauskommt. Ja, wir wissen auch, was du kannst. Dagutin, wir sehen uns morgen wieder. Dagutin Howard. Auch er signiert das Board, das es heute ja zu gewinnen gibt. Nächstes Match ist die Begegnung von Ted Evans und Joe Mernon, zwei Engländern also. Nach vier Spielen gibt es immer eine kurze Pause, weil die Technik-Crew auch einmal durchatmen muss. In so sieben, acht Minuten geht es weiter und dann sind wir zurück mit Spiel Nummer fünf. Bis gleich. <lacht>